What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we will discuss on who is the most important character in the Mahabharat. Yes, yes, yes. Many of you have been asking me this question that oh in Mahabharat there are so many characters. There is Yudhishthir, there is Drona, there is Bhishma, there is Arjuna, there is Lord Krishna and then so many others. Draupadi, Kunti, my god, so many great personalities and we also have personalities like duryodhan dushasan karna shakuni and so many so it becomes very difficult to know and to decide who is the winner of the match <laughs> or is there any one winner at all or there are many winners all right we will see this and as usual if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website below all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you find out who is the most important character in the mahabharat all right because without knowing that we cannot understand the importance of the bhagavad gita that is why it is very important to know who is the central theme of the mahabharat that character is the one around which the entire mahabharat is revolving it is not all these tits and bits which are there in the mahabharat that makes it the book the epic yes it's just a story book without this person but when this person comes it becomes a epic it becomes a lifelong spiritual journey for every person who wants to go close to the ultimate athato brahma jigyasa as the bhagavatam tells that inquire about the higher truths yes so everything is because of this person if this person is not there in the mahabharat it is nothing but simply a game of politics some people killing each other big fights there is nothing great there is nothing exceptional all right so today we will see who is that character yes and if you already know it then pause this video and write it down in the comments let me see how many of you write okay so in the mahabharat there are so many characters there is bhishma pitama there is dronacharya there is yudhishthir there is arjun there is nakul sahadev kunti draupadi my god so many but there is one person who is actually not the central character physically but he is still the most prominent person because he resides in the heart of all the prominent characters yes and who is that yes you guessed it right i knew that you all know the answer yes yes you are right it is none other than lord krishna himself the question is why now lord krishna does not directly come into the mahabharat in many instances <laughs> yes but he ensures his presence not by being physically present or absent in the happenings of the kurukshetra war or even before that yes but he ensures his presence to be the most important person by staying in the heart of those characters who build up this story yes because mahabharat is basically what it is a story of enlightenment enlightenment of the pandavas of the great bhishma pitama yes of the great yudhishthir the sacrifices of kunti draupadi and the evil deeds of duryodhana dushasana karna shakuni these people yes and then all the kurus dhritarashtra included in that and then the sacrifice of abhimanyu if abhimanyu would not be there then that day yudhishthir would have been kept captive by dronacharya by his tactic powers when he launched the chakravyu so mahabharat is a great epic which teaches sacrifice na yudhishthir maharaj teaches how to be religious how to be good how to be strict with your principles even when there is adversity in your life yes but these characters they share one common point apart from the fact that they are extraordinary 
extraordinary personalities. Apart from that, they share the fact that Lord Krishna is always prominent inside their hearts. Yes. And the only thing they are doing in the entire Mahabharata is trying to follow what Lord Krishna says. That is why he is the most important character in the Mahabharata. Because if you do not understand Lord Krishna's value, then we will read the Mahabharata just like a storybook, just like Harry Potter maybe. Yes. Or maybe we will watch serials like B.R. Chopra's Mahabharata or we will uh, go and watch Ramanand Sagar's Shri Krishna. Just like we are watching a movie. We are watching Game of Thrones. Like that we are watching B.R. Chopra's Mahabharata. So to understand and to inculcate and to realize what Mahabharata stands for. Because without that you cannot understand the Gita, right? So that is why this video is very important. So we have to understand that he is the central theme of the Mahabharata. Yes. Basically what the Mahabharata is. The main crux of the Mahabharata is the Gita. Yes. The main, it's like the fruit of the tree. Because to give the spiritual wisdom. But unfortunately, most of the people in this world are not interested in spirituality. That's very unfortunate, right? Therefore, Lord Krishna arranges that, okay, I will make such a story. Oh, there is no, the person dies, Pandu dies, he gets a curse that you cannot unite with any woman. The moment you unite with anybody, you will die. Oh my God, such a dangerous curse. Then what happened? There is a king who is blind. My God. So much suspense and then the Pandavas are hashed into a controversy where they are attempted to be killed by uh, Dushasana, this Duryodhana, Karana and Shakuni, these four, where they hatch the controversy at Varnavrat. That Lakshakra, famous incidents of the Mahabharata where they were all dead almost but somehow by the grace of the great Vidura they were saved. So the point is, all these characters, they are there. But Lord Krishna is the most important character because he arranges the scenarios in such a way that people who are not only interested in spirituality but who are interested in mundane topics. Yes, like we also have the example of Draupadi being stripped no, naked into the assembly. Yes, she was somehow protected at the end by Lord Krishna's grace. Otherwise, she would have lost her honor in no time because she did everything. She tried to protect uh, herself from this Dushasan by catching the Sari with her hands. She could not. She appealed to Bhishma that, Oh, great Bhishma, please protect me. She appealed to Drona. She appealed to the king. And she also appealed to Yudhishthir Maharaj. Nobody could protect her. Nobody. Yes. Due to whatever reason it can be. I'm not going into the details. I'll make that video some other day. But the point of the incidence of Draupadi, which is known as Draupadi's Vastraharan, it is simply to exemplify one fact of life, that God is the ultimate protector. Yes. Without his protection, nothing can sustain. So now when a person who is interested in women or who is interested in nudity, yes, or who is interested in sensual topics, he hears, oh my God, there's a rape scene in the Mahabharata, yes. <laughs> there's a woman who is getting raped, oh my God, looks like I need to see it. <laughs> yes, there's rape attempt going on in the Mahabharata. Oh shit, the rape is not complete. Now somebody comes and stops it. Who is that person who stopped that rape scene, yes. So these people, they also get attracted to the Mahabharata. So then what Lord Krishna does is, he puts all the tidbits together. Yes. And then it culminates into the war. Yes, it's going like this. It's piling, 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 piling. And then it stops. And then finally, just before the war is about to begin, Lord Krishna puts the bomb. <laughs> he makes Arjuna helpless. Arjuna undergoes a paralysis about which we have been discussing till now in the first chapter. And because of that, Arjuna is now thinking, should I fight or should I not fight? And at the end, he throws his Gandiva. What to speak of throwing? It slips from his hand. He says, 
ओ केशवा आई कैनॉट फाइट काल्पन्य दोषो पहत स्वभावा पृछा मिवाम धर्म सम्मूढ़ चेत सा आई कैनॉट फाइट आई एम अंडर गॉन दिस पैरालिस सो देन लॉर्ड कृष्णा थ्रोज द बॉम्ब सो देन वॉट हैपन्स पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन रेप सीन पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन स्कैंडल्स पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन गुडनेस पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी ऑल दीज पीपल कम टूगेदर एंड देन दे आर वेटिंग ओ वेन विल बी द क्लाइमैक्स द वॉर इज द क्लाइमैक्स कुरुक्षेत्र इज द प्लेस वेर इट्स पाइलिंग एंड देन पैंग सडनली स्टॉप नो वॉर इट्स लाइक सेइंग सपोज because i'm from india and in india cricket is very famous so i would give this example that uh, sachin tendulkar is one of the most famous cricketers for the western audience because many of the western people don't know tendulkar because there's no cricket yes in some most of the western countries except from uk but even if you know him you don't know him the way indians know him so it is like saying that there's a world cup match where india is playing against pakistan and arjuna is like the sachin tendulkar because he is the best in the battlefield he is known as falguni who is perfect nobody can surpass arjuna so now sachin tendulkar is going to bat and imagine some cricketer from uh, my childhood days maybe wasim akram he was one of my favorite bowlers so wasim akram is coming to ball yes and then sachin tendulkar suddenly says i am not fighting i am not playing i am out of this match pakistan is my brothers why should i fight them <laughs> why should i hit wasim akram he is like my brother yes he is like my neighbor he is like my friend i will not play this match that's it imagine how it will be now the entire india will be shocked if sachin tendulkar would have put his bat down when asim wasim akram would be with the ball so something like that happens in the mahabharat so everybody comes at a state of shock oh arjuna is not willing to fight what happened my god and then he says i am confused then lord krishna starts yes 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 now the game begins so the origin the original purpose the aim the objective the sole reason why the mahabharat was enacted was to give the knowledge of the gita that is the only reason that's the main, that's the primary reason there are other many reasons but that's the primary reason and that happens when there is this total climax the war has come to an halt even before starting yes so that is why lord krishna is the most important character and time and again we see that in the hearts of the most prominent characters like yudhishthir maharaj like bhishma pitama he is always there in the heart of draupadi in the heart of kunti कुंती महारानी से हिंदी श्रीमद भागवतम अलक्ष्यम सर्वभूता अंतर बहिर अवस्थित कुंती महारानी से दैट अलक्ष्यम सर्वभूता अंतर बहिर अवस्थित ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण यू आर इन साइड एंड यू आर आउट साइड ऑल्सो एंड शी स्पीक सच ब्यूटिफुल प्रेयर्स ब्यूटिफुल पोएम्स ब्यूटिफुल प्रेजेस इन द नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण शी से when lord krishna is about to depart after the kurukshetra war kunti says my god oh lord krishna you are leaving when everything is fine now the war has ended but better than everything being fine materially and you leaving better than that is give me distress calamity sorrow pain suffering misery and you stay with us that is what kunti is praying yes even draupadi exemplifies this let's talk of women today <laughs> enough of the men enough of arjuna enough of yudhishthir enough of bhishma today let's talk of women <laughs> so draupadi also even when we uh, see that uh, during the scenario where duryodhana had sent durvasmuni yes we all know that story yes oh my god that's a very long story i will not say that now but when durvasmuni was sent to bless the pandavas externally yes duryodhana had said oh my brothers are staying there na in the forest you should go and bless them but duryodhana knew that the moment durvasmuni goes he has 60000 disciples my god 60000 disciples and durvasmuni is extremely angry durvasa means one whose speech is very very harsh durvasa also means one who eats very 
uh, one who eats food which is like dur dur means it's very austere na no? roots leaves berries these things he used to eat and the meaning as i said is his speech is very sharp and it's like curses are sitting on his head on his on his tongue the moment he is displeased he will curse you so duryodhana knew that pandavas cannot arrange food for 60000 uh, sanyasis yes that is why he knew that the moment durvasuni goes there and he says i am going to eat lunch here and then pandavas cannot provide then durvasuni is going to curse them and they are all going to die so this was the plan of duryodhana the great <laughs> and of course he was always assisted by his uh, main three counterparts karna uh, we have shakuni his mama his uncle and dushasan was his brother so he was always assisted by these three yes in whichever controversy he had hatched and that is why he had such a deadly end his end was very 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 horrifying my god the way he died so then what happened durvasuni went and then after durvasuni went they told that oh now we are going to eat lunch yes arrange food for 20000 disciples 60000 50000 i don't know how many it was and then yudhishthir maharaj was in a state of panic and he said yes yes yes, yes whatever you say because he is very respectful to the sages and saints my god and that is durvasa muni is like durvasa muni is an incarnation of lord shiva himself yes <laughs> so he is not a ordinary uh, some person who has a youtube channel with some 100000 million followers he is not like that he is he is an avatar of shiva himself my god if he is displeased that's it end of the story and then what happened they went to draupadi and said oh we have to cook for so many now have you eaten because they had a akshay patra where there would be unlimited food yes and then Draupadi said oh what i have eaten so the condition was that until draupadi eats there will be unlimited amount of food akshay means that which does not finish but then draupadi had also finished so then they were in this terrible predicament that there was no food available and then draupadi she closed her eyes and she said oh lord krishna please save us we are in a terrible situation <laughs> and lord krishna immediately he appeared and then he said are you sure that you have finished all of the food bring the bowl and then there was one small grain of rice which was remaining yes and then lord krishna ate this one grain of rice the kheer the payesh the sweet rice and when lord krishna ate that all the sages and saints the 60000 disciples of durvasa muni their stomachs got bloated suddenly <laughs> they started they wanted to uh, uh, what what they said a vomit out they felt like we have eaten so much because there's this saying in the scriptures that yashmin tushtam jagat tushtam when god is pleased everybody is pleased so when it's like when lord krishna ate then all of these people they also felt as as if we have taken a big 30 course meal in a buffet as in some restaurants so then they didn't go to the pandavas they directly went back and then the pandavas were saved so this is how time and again lord krishna ensures that goodness is protected over evil yes and yes of course there are certain things like abhimanyu was dead then the sons of draupadi they also perished well by that lord krishna is giving us the message that this material world is ultimately a place of sorrow misery pain suffering and hardship so our aim should be to stay in this material world till the time we perfect ourselves spiritually and then ultimately return to him as lord krishna says in the gita yad gatva na nivartante tadham paramam mama that once anybody who returns to my abode does not come back na shashanko na pavakaha beautiful shloka we will come to that all right so there you go the most important character who ensures that there is goodness maintained in this world and people from all groups materialistic sinful highly materialistic highly sinful good very good highest of the beings like yudhishthir even people who are in all these domains they can also get something in the mahabharat 
by which they can ultimately hear the knowledge of the Gita. That is what Lord Krishna ensured during the Mahabharata. That is why he is the one. And even when there is this Raja Suya Yajna, Yudhishthir Maharaj asks to Bhishma Pitama that, Oh, Grand Sire, Oh, Great Grandfather, there are so many great personalities sitting here. Whom should I offer the Prathamargya, which is the first worship which is offered to the greatest personality alive? Then Bhishma Pitama stood up and he said, Oh, Yudhishthir, I thought you are intelligent enough to figure this out. You are saying that there are so many stars here. Vyasdev is there. There is so many great personalities sitting here. But don't you see among the stars, there is a beautiful moon here. <laughs> because the moon is completely distinct. The stars can come and go. They will keep blinking. But the moon will shine always. Yes, the moon is distinct in the sky in the night. So he said, there are so many stars here. But there is one moon. How come you fail to see that? And that moon is Lord Krishna. <laughs> so the first worship should go to him. Alright. So Bhishma Pitama also hints to everybody that he is the most important person here. There you go. Who is the most important person in the Mahabharat? Because if you do not understand the importance of this personality, you will not understand how great the Gita is. Because unless you have reverence and respect and admiration for the speaker, you cannot respect the message. Yes, because that's why people in India, they are, although they have this bent of spirituality inside them, but they are not interested in things. Yes, most of the Indians, they are looking for materialistic alternatives. Why? Because although they know the Gita is there, or even why within Hinduism, even within Islam also. Yes, they know that these holy books are there, but they don't have much respect, much reverence for, much admiration, I would say, for the speaker. Yes, that is why materialistic civilization is becoming more and more and more degraded. Every day it's going down. It's like a downward vector which is going down. People are getting into smoking, drinking, prostitution, pornography. My God, what not? Yes, marriages are falling apart. Families are collapsing. So all these things are happening because people have gone away from their roots. And that is what Lord Krishna tries to do in the Mahabharata. He tries to... Bring people from all the groups who are interested in different topics, politics, sociology, economics, everything is there in the Mahabharata. But the main message is the Gita and that is his prime objective. Alright, that will be enough for today. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it and if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you want a consultation, then approach me in my website below. Okay, until next time with another video. Bye-bye. See you.